Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Absolute Football. Six box inner case, pick your team number seven. Big thanks to all of these wonderful people here for getting into the action on Absolute Football. Appreciate it. Thanks everybody. Joe, you've got my Raiders. Oh yeah, that's right. McKee's got my Raiders. And rough, rough end of the season for my Raiders. Here's a... Uh, Full, uh, master case here. All right, so we got two inner cases, a left side right here and a right side right there. So we're going to roll the die. We'll select this Vegas one. And we'll roll the die. One, two, three for the left inner, four, five, six for the right inner. And it's going to be three, left side. Go. <laughs> Sorry, TJ. Yeah, went, went left side. And this side, we'll save for next time, which will be pick your team eight. So we'll mark that. PYT8, which will come from, uh, which will load up shortly. All right, I feel like it's been a minute or two since I've done this. Absolutely, I've kind of don't remember what it looks like. <laughs> oh my Raiders! I, I think there was some criticism if you watch that Raiders game with the Dolphins and. There was some criticism for John Gruden saying, oh, why were they getting too cute at the goal line? And they were trying to eat up clock. Why didn't they just pound in for the for the touchdown and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, have you seen the Raiders' defense? Like, no, no wonder why John Gruden tried to bleed as much clock as possible. You know? Because that guy knew that, that, that what happened was, was going to happen. You try to limit as much time for that to happen as possible. I mean, I think th there's a lot of talking heads who are criticizing my Raiders, right? For oh, look how they started, and then now look at the. I think people have to realize just just how bad the Raiders' defense is. Um, but thankfully, really, that's the only thing, only major thing to address next year. So, you know what kind of homework they're going to be doing. Now, if the, if the defense is this bad next year, then you got to, then I, you can start asking questions to the front office and to how Gruden's evaluating the defensive players, whoever the new defensive coordinator is going to be. But the Raiders are ahead, kind of ahead, ahead of schedule though. All right. There's Jawan Jennings to 35. That's going to be for the Niners. That'll be for Victor. Steve, you're a, you're a Bears guy? Yeah. You'll appreciate forever appreciate the Raiders for Khalil Mack. Well, we appreciate those draft picks, which I think turned into Josh Jacobs maybe is one of those guys. I think it might have evened out for both teams. There's Brett with the Chargers. And there's Jalen Hurts with the Eagles introductions. Out of 25, Isaiah Simmons. Here's the thing that I think a lot of Bears fans are like, Lol's Raiders, thanks for Khalil Mack. And we're, I was just like, well, Bear, Bears fans are wasting Khalil's Max talents just as much as the Raiders would have. Both of those teams aren't winning Super Bowls anytime soon. There's Dual Relic, Baker, Mayfield, Nick Chubb, Team Tandem to 199. Josh with the Browns. And there's Trayvon Diggs. There's Derek Brown to 199. 
and Cam Green Acres. It's a nice quad relic there. It's a 75. 17 out of 75. That one will be for Jason Bell. There's the bell for Jason. And the Rams. Nice cam. There's Josh Uchi to 50. I think he made a debut and appearance last night. Well, I'm looking, as a Raiders fan, looking forward to another playoff season. Stress-free. That's the silver lining. I see all my friends with their team, their own teams in the playoffs. Stressing out. Freaking out. And I'm just like, it's easy. No. Doing just fine. Anyone have any early takes on the playoffs? Maybe first round upset. Could there be some first round upsets? Is there what's the what's the sleeper team? I mean, I think we kind of know that kind of know that uh, Chiefs are probably going to go pretty deep into the playoffs. That's there. That's no doubt about that, right? I don't know. Is there a NFC team that's clear far and away. Raiders, Raiders are my sleeper team. <laughs> Jersey and Auto, Tua, Tungle by Loa, 13 out of 35. I don't know what you're laughing about, Sean. We're, we're both both of our teams aren't in the playoffs, buddy. I know. Remember, so. you guys like dragged on your There's Josh ball. Horton. That was awesome. Good try, Sean. Nice try. Okay, he's got to come up with a better shade than that. If he's going to compete with the likes of my sharp tongue. He can't, though. He's too nice. There's Marlon Davidson to 149. Tua goes to Josh Horton. By the way, that was last spot mojo. I'm just sitting there. Let's kind of slide that right there. I might snap a picture of that. There's... Uh, Derek Carr, Josh Jacobs, Team Tandem, 28 out of 199. Steve wouldn't mind the Rams beating the Cardinals first. Jeff Brooks wants to get... I, I'd love to see the Dolphins in the playoffs. I think that'll be fun. There's Phillip Rivers right there. And so that I would love to see too. Whoever wins the NFC East gets into the playoffs and then wins their first game. <laughs> There's Darius Slayton, Jared Stidham, and Andy Isabella for Alex. Yeah, both Birch and Ryan thinking, or no, Patricia Birch, Steve Birch thinking that Pittsburgh will get beat in the first round. Ryan, though, saying Pittsburgh going to the Super Bowl. There's Andy Isabella for Alex and the Cardinals. There's, speaking of the Steelers, there's Juju Smith-Schuster, 59 out of now. What, what gives you that confidence, Ryan? The last four weeks have been pretty rough for the, uh, for the Steelers. This goes to Oliver Soria and the Steelers. I don't know. That, it's been kind of rough. The, you're down to the Colts for a little while, too. The comeback was great. Oliver Soria, yeah, he's a Steelers fan. He just got that Jade, uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, but he's saying he loves my Steelers, but no way they're getting past the Bills or the Chiefs. Big Ben likes drama? I don't know, maybe... Maybe when in his prime, yeah. But I just don't think he looks right. Birch saying he doesn't look right. Either healthy or he just looks old. I mean. Yeah, 
you know what? It'll be interesting to see what Mason Rudolph does because Big Ben's not starting this week. It'll be interesting to see what Mason Rudolph does. How do you guys feel about Mason Rudolph? This is a this is a big audition for him, I think. Like, is he going to be the quarterback of the future? Or no? He's trash, <laughs> says, says Ryan. What it, what it, what do you, what happens if Mason Rudolph just lights it up? Three hundred and twenty-five yards and two touchdowns. There's Stephen Montez autograph for to, uh, out of one hundred for Patrick and the Washington Football Team. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mason was a little decent when he was playing before. There's Darius Slayton dual relic to ninety-nine. Oh, if he plays well, trade him. Um, tongue is in my cheek, though. I, I think Mason Rudolph is not the answer. <laughs> and it's Kyler Murray, red zone. Yeah, I think uh, I think they'll be looking to draft a new quarterback at some point, trade for a quarterback to maybe sit behind Big Ben for a season or two, and then Lynn Batum Jr. Raiders edition. That's going to go to McKee. Justin Jefferson, he's having a nice season, 75. And carry on my wayward son. 7 out of 35. Dual relic and autograph for the Lions, Nick Conroy. And a dual relic, Michael Thomas. And Jared Cook, team tandem dual relic for the Saints. And for Matt Medlin. Wish the Bills would rest their players. Do you rather Yeah, what's the what's the player rest strategy? I mean if you have a bye, you gotta play week seventeen, I feel like. I feel like two weeks is too much. See that'll be interesting with these week one buys. For everybody else, you got to play them at least first half. I say just so, just so it's not they're not too rusty. I think because the Bills are kind of in a groove. Do you want to mess with that? I know you don't want people to get injured, but you know you can get injured in the first minute of the playoff game. It won't matter. You know what I mean? As Al Pacino once said in the movie Heat, you can get killed walking your doggy. What he said. I'm a big no rust guy. You know, I I I think uh, I think you got to play. I think you got to play players at least a little bit. But almost treat it like a preseason game where in the first half you're working on specific things and then you could rest the rest the guys like for the Bills. You know what I mean? There's Joe Burrow autograph. Joey B. Nice. So we got a Tua and a Joe Burrow autograph in this inner case. Three out of 25, Bengals Adam Kupperman. Not bad. Historic duels, 17 out of 25. Steelers, that's going to be for Oliver. Joey B, nice. There's Derek Brown for the Panthers to 100. A couple of those going to Patrick Davis. Antonio Gandy-Golden autograph to 75. Washington football team, Patrick Davis. I'm not sure, Anso. We'll see about uh, Panini Immaculate Soccer, the other kind, the other football. 
I would love to, but I don't know if that if that maybe makes more sense for the personal break side or if people will actually do group breaks of it. But it'll be on it'll be on one channel or the other. There's Austin Eckler, red zone, five out of five. That goes to the Bolts, out of fives and under, Brett. Get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There's KJ Hamler to 100. What's up, Steven? If the Bears make the playoffs... There's Tyler Johnson, Triple Relic, and Auto. That's kind of a cool color right up there, too. A piece of the pigskin. They'll either meet the Cowboys or the Redskins in the playoffs. That I don't know. I don't know how that playoff thing works out. I feel like there's a lot of other games that could impact seeding. So I'm not entirely sure. Karen with the Buccaneers. And there's Matt Ryan for the Falcons. Brett with the ATL. All right, two more boxes to go. This is Pick Your Team number seven, Impeccable. Coming up after this, check the schedule in the chat. Oliver's saying the Bears would play the five seed, so who would, who would that be? I did have some, some my standings open, but I closed that tab. Birch is saying Seattle. Yeah. With the Cowboys, Oliver Soria is saying, you don't want to see the Cowboys in the first round. I know. If they win that division, they get in. That means they're playing some pretty hot football. I wouldn't want to see that. There's Jalen Johnson, 24 out of 75. Speaking of the Bears, that goes to Jeremy Harder. You don't think anybody wants to play the Bears right now? I don't think anyone's really scared of the Bears. Who's scared of the Bears? No one's scared of Mitch Trubisky. There's Jeremy Harder. I'm, I'm scared of the Bears' defense. 30 out of 199, KJ Hamler, Cortland Sutton. Dual relic for my rivals, the Broncos, Bradley. But I don't think anyone's quaking in their boots. How do we scheme for Mitch Trubisky? <laughs> There's out of 50, Tyler Lockett. They're like, oh no, Mitch. <laughs> not, not MVP Mitch. There's Iconic Inc., Mark Duper to 25. Miami. Another one for Joshua, Joshua H. There you go, Bradley. Yeah, on the board. Carry on Johnson, dual relic, 38 out of 49. Carry on my way, would son. That goes to Nick Conroy and Detroit. And there's Patrick Queen to 100. And the last little mini box here. And then one more box to go. There's Antonio Gibson to 199. There's Jonathan Taylor Thomas for the Blue Horseshoes, Rookie Premier, Triple Relic, and Autograph. Piece of the pigskin in there for Kurt and the Blue Horseshoes. $249. And Keyshawn Vaughn for Karen and the Bucks. All right, last one. That's right, Oliver Soria. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, home improvement. Mm -hmm. All right, final three mini boxes. Pick your team number seven. What's coming up next? Check the schedule. It's in the chat. That's right. He he was uh, young Simba, I think, right in in animated Lion King. And I think Matthew Broderick might have played adult Simba.
All right, last one. Good luck. <laughs> Stephen Punk, did, did the Padres get over on the Cubs and the Rays? I feel like they gave up a lot for Snell. There's Neville Gallimore, 7 out of 10, autograph for the boys. That's going to go to Michael S. But I actually don't know what they gave up, what the Padres gave up for you, Darvish. There's Dalvin Cook, Groundhogs, 1 out of 99, Vikings. That's, that'll be for, for, uh, for Denny and the Vikes. I could see you Darvish being a salary dump, but didn't Mike Snell still has like three years on, left on his deal? I mean, I could, guess that's kind of abandoning him a little early. There's DJ Chark to 75. All right. Oh, for my Raiders. Hunter Renfro, nice. 46 out of 99. Two color, dual relic, and autograph for McKee, my Raiders. I feel like those are the moves. I thought the Padres pitching moves were the ones that the Angels were gonna make, but maybe the Angels don't have don't have the assets. Nice Renfro. Third and Renfro, as they say. There's Dalvin Cook again, triple relic. 29 out of 49. There you go. Joe P, what's going on? And there's Tredavious White for the Bills to 100. All right, last pack here. That's the Kid Reporter card. Last one. We got Ben DiNucci to 100 and Devin Duvernay, triple relic and autograph for the Purple Birds, Aaron Billingsley with the Ravens. They're still on the outside looking in, the Ravens. All right, and there's Josh Ucci for... Out of 25 for the Patriots, that'll be for Karen Steele. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was 2020 Panini Absolute Football, six box inner case. Pick your team number seven. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break.